What in the fuck is going on? I'm What's here with up? Mac and my ga- and my and my. I got guitars. I got drums here. My little my little game room and music studio. It's very you fun. Room. I play I play as well. I don't know if you guys know that. I play drums. I play guitar. A little bit of piano, uh, bass. You know it. I'm all around. I don't go with that music theory stuff though. Don't really get it. Don't really want to get it. I just play by ear. Anyway, I'm here with Mac. That's me. Max makes. You own a custom Lego account, custom Lego character account. That's much different than your normal Lego community. How how does the normal Lego community differ from what you do in your custom Lego character community? Mm, that's a good question. Um, I would say so. You know how like whenever you go to the store and you buy a Lego set, yeah. You know, um, I see a lot of people post like um the sets that they get um after they build it and whatnot yeah. and no hate towards them all yeah, love in the Lego community completely different uh yeah. thing and and that's what yeah. i think most people get confused about when it comes to the lego stuff is like you're like oh i post custom characters and they're like oh you should post sets no it's a completely different thing like there is Whole entire community. businesses built off of yeah. custom characters versus yeah, there's maybe it'd be custom sets or just building crazy sets or whatever. I used to get those like, were they scholastic or were they like something? I got some Lego magazine as a kid, and it showed like, did you ever get yeah, those? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it showed like this week's crazy builds, and it has like a picture of the kid next yeah, to yeah. it. So yeah, uh, you know, there's there's the creators that yeah. make that post their Lego creations like based on the sets yeah there's mock-up sets which is like they build their own sets yeah there's custom lego community which i'm a part of but whenever you buy a lego set and you post it um you're you're building someone else's creation yeah uh with the lego custom community you kind of you you just it's whatever your mind can think of really yeah you can build whatever you can build Characters from Marvel, from DC, video games, movies, whatever your mind can yeah. think of. Um, so I, I would say that's where the main difference comes in. Yeah. Um, but other than that, I mean, it's all Lego pieces. Yeah, yeah. They're all Legos at the end of the day. But yeah, yeah there there is there is a big difference. I noticed you post a lot of Marvel. I where do. did that come from? What is that? You love Marvel, huh? I I really love Marvel. <laughs> I've been I've been a huge fan of Marvel since since the 2012 Avengers movie. Really? Yeah, I, I re- did it for a lot of people, man. I did it for a lot of people. I was a big fan of the uh, Sam Sam Raimi Spider Man. I mean, yeah, the, you, like Tobey Maguire Spider Man's. You can't go wrong with that. But yeah. I, I, I I remember like right after the Avengers movie, Hawkeye was my favorite character. So really, right after I went to Walmart and God, bought like rest a, in peace, Renner, right, Jeremy Renner, or not? He didn't die. He didn't die, but, but he got he got fucked up though. Yeah. Oh my God, y'all see that in the uh, snowmobile accident or something? Yeah, yeah. He's a hero, bro. He saved he is somebody a hero. from the. He did from the. He's snow the plant. only Avenger. Think about that for a minute here, ladies and gentlemen. He's the only gentlemen. real Avenger here. Yeah, he has been the only Avenger to actually freaking like save somebody in real life. That's insane. That's yeah. awesome. And he's the weakest Avenger. Let's be real. Hawkeye, what? Like this guy's Thor, hammer from God or whatever. I mean, yeah, he only you has know, a bow whatever, and arrow. And he's got a bow and arrow. What are you gonna do against Thanos, dude? With a bow and arrow. Oh, it explodes when I shoot it. Nice. That's <laughs> called a grenade, dude. They'd send in the military. It, guns, for crying out loud, yeah. are better than a bow and arrow. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Sorry to cap on Hawkeye. Jesus. Sorry. Been holding that it's in just for a while. Hate on <laughs> Hawkeye. Yeah. No, he's good. Um, he's cool. Yeah, but after after the Avengers movie, I went to Walmart and bought a plastic bow and arrow that, you know. Really? Yeah, with like the like the plunger ends where it can like stick on <laughs> stick things. Stick on the things? <laughs> oh my God. I was just running around in my front yard, just like going around acting like I was hot. Really? Guy. That's why I did that with a flash. I'd go and I'd, uh, oh God. I <laughs> Run really fast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> with a flash costume, you know. At the no, park. but yeah, honestly, honestly, I was, love it. at first I was a DC fan. I'm still a DC fan. DC I love DC. Insane. But I like, gotta say, I'm DC over Marvel, man. Just not. I get the movies on Marvel are better. They just know what they're doing. But like, honestly, the characters DC. 
Like I love Marvel. I love DC. I think DC does better in like the comic books and animated yeah. series. Yeah. Uh, yeah. TV shows as well. But Marvel has it down on on the actual movie. Front. Yeah. Yeah. They, 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 got they whole, know the their whole system. Yeah. But honestly, yeah, DC was. I started with DC, and honestly, really? yeah, back. When I first started making customs, back when I was like nine or uh-huh. ten or something, just bringing Sharpie to Lego, like yeah. every single custom. But all of my customs were like from the Batman Arkham games really? and whatnot. They weren't like by any means any good. They were they were terrible. They really? were trash. So what compared to what I'm making now, yeah. They were they were really bad. But that's that's how I got my start, just building I gotta Lego say, DC I'm kind characters. of the same. Like, I get it. Like, I get building these custom characters. Mm-hmm. I get how cool it is. I had a Lego Batman set, mm-hmm. and I wanted Nightwing. They didn't have Nightwing. Yeah. So I went, and I got a piece of paper. I got some colored pencils, and I drew a Nightwing chest plate, smacked it onto the character, taped him up, and uh, it looked like shit. <laughs> but it but it was, but it was, uh, I loved it as a kid. I, like, drew the mask and everything on the character. It's a lot of fun, man. Yeah. That's a lot of fun. I, I feel like that's how most of the the custom lego creators um yeah all got their startup like Mm -hmm. sharpie pencil paper and and lego as a as a brand because they allow these businesses to run using i guess the lego characters Mm because obviously they're they're getting money from it right but also this is this is a um an entire community that has come from the characters that come with lego sets Mm -hmm. you know you have a lot of people that like i said build the crazy sets and then now you have this whole community that builds from these characters and I think that's badass. Yeah. Um so like I said, I built a character. That was just me having fun as a kid. But you like you've done this so often throughout your entire life. I, I am I am sure this is your passion. What do you say? Yeah, yeah. I I definitely think it's my passion. I definitely see potential in in what I'm doing. Yeah. Um compared to, you know, just last year whenever i started the account i was just august right you started in august and you're up to three thousand followers i think it was Um, like july 30th or something okay august um yeah um now i'm at 3k followers i know that doesn't seem like a lot but but within this yeah i've looked in this community within the community that's great especially how fast you've done it your daily posting he does daily posting in two on tuesdays your consistency is insane uh, your reach is crazy. I saw you had what, like twelve thousand likes. Yeah. On one post. On my God of War post. And people yeah. were people were trying to cap in the comments. There was one guy I, I I saw and he was like, you know, I got. He said like, oh, eight thousand likes with a, a follow or with an account that's like twenty five hundred followers. Hmm. And you're like, yeah, dude. Like people love this. I've got a community and it's all reach. It's tags. It's it's you're you're going into the analytics at this point. Yeah. Um, which is really freaking cool. But um. I can tell by your ability to just wake up and do this that and and that's why I'm having you on like this is you've ca- you've figured out and capitalized on your passion especially at such a young age which everyone's trying to find like is photography my complete passion? I don't know. Like I love it, you know, and I'll yeah. keep doing it. Um but have have I been able to have that conversation with myself and be like this is completely the way that I like to 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 make art and everything. Um, and I, and I've talked about that on, on my kind of my podcast with, uh, with Sam Envy, you should check out really cool. We dive into the facts about, um, kind of, kind of how it feels to be a photographer and 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 approach the scene. It's really cool. You should watch. Um, I'll have it down in the description. Just check my channel. But, uh, yeah, man, I can tell it's your passion, which is what's really cool. And, and, and like I was saying, uh, with me in photography, like, it's not every day like I can wake up and be like, oh, I'll immediately start doing this um, and I and I can't wait to do it every single day. But do you think that considering that you you have confronted yourself and know that this is your passion, do you have any of those moments like, oh, I don't want to have to post today or this or that? Like, does that ever pop into your head at all? Um, Yeah, it, I mean, it definitely pops in my head. I mean, sometimes I'm busy. Mm-hmm. Um and whatnot and sometimes i just don't want to wake up super early yeah but i know i have to yeah there's well that's comforting to hear too i think for a lot of creatives is that yeah we all got our our shit and like 
there's always something going yeah, on. That, yeah. I mean, some days I'm, I'm ec- ecstatic about posting because yeah. I, I think this figure is so mm-hmm. cool. Um, and other days I'm like, you know, I don't really have a good post for today, but mm-hmm. I, uh, should I post? I mean, I know I have to post, but yeah, should I post at this time? Is it okay if I wait two hours to post? I, I don't know. That's awesome. But yeah. Yeah, but... um. Yeah, man, that that Kratos post. So Kratos is God of War, a uh, PS4 game. And like you said, you do Marvel. You also do a little bit of other stuff. Mm-hmm. That post was the one that got up to 12,000 likes. And the reach yeah. is what? Uh, last time I checked, I think it was around like 130,000 Which is reach. insane. For one post, for one post, and your reach is, oh, God. For those who don't 000. know, for those who don't know what, what? reach is, it's basically the amount of accounts that have seen the post insane whether, whether it's on the explore page on your feed that that's how many accounts have seen the post yeah yeah crazy stuff man what do you think um because yeah you do daily posts i think that definitely helps with the algorithm especially mm-hmm. on instagram and starting from a ground level account right uh, you don't do a lot of reels um so you've strictly gotten that reach off of posts yeah one picture if not more, if you swipe on Instagram, which is insane. And um, the 3,000 followers within the community is also a very fast growth. People notice that. I've seen you've had some some higher accounts like just talk, be able to talk to you. Some that, yeah. some that you've looked up to mm-hmm. um, even before starting the account, Yeah, um, which is crazy. And now you're in the realm and they're talking to you and you've surpassed some of those people you've looked up to. That's insane, man. That's really great. Yeah, yeah. Um. Yeah, I mean, back, like, before I started this account, I mean, yeah, there was a lot of accounts that I I looked up to, people that I wanted to be like, people that Mm -hmm. I wanted to be friends with, and now that I'm here, I mean, I've I've talked to a couple of them, I've become acquaintances, friends with some of them, and it's just, yeah, it's crazy, just, uh, just meeting not necessarily meeting yeah, but just over spe- instagram yeah meeting on instagram people that you looked up to i mean like gc bricks i looked up to him for the longest time before yeah. i started my lego account and now me and him talk every once in a while really? which is really cool um nate's minifigs also a huge help i looked up to him for a long time watched all his youtube videos and whatnot um and now he's giving me like tips on like how to paint and whatnot, which That's insane. is is great. Yeah, I I didn't know anything about painting many yeah. figures before. So I was looking at your account and I saw, and and I've looked at plenty of other accounts too within the community. Mm-hmm. I noticed not only do you have a really cool like fan base, like there's people that come back and comment, um, but the community as a whole is like very. Everyone likes to be friends with each other, right? Mm-hmm. Everyone, every everyone yeah. gets gets along. Everyone enjoys everybody's content and their builds. It looks like just a really friendly place to be. A lot of love. A lot of the, love in the Lego community. Sweet. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, we're all just we're all building the same thing. We're all building Legos. Yeah. So, <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of love, admiration, respect within the yeah. community. I mean, there are a few oddballs out there yeah. who aren't very aren't the nicest yeah not and, the most and not gonna lie accepting but yeah i came across an account mm-hmm. and interesting and i'm not one to cap but this is kind of weird i saw an account and it's like oh all world war ii like historical accuracy only and I look at all the pictures, and they're just a bunch of Nazis. Like, every account, every picture on that account is, like, swastika armbands, Lego swastika flags, hella Nazis. Like, what does this guy's room fucking look like? Just hella, like, your mom walks in and just sees a bunch of that shit? I don't know. Man. <coughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. Are you sure? Are, are you sure you didn't stumble upon Kanye West's? It account? could have been Kanye's. I think it, that, yeah, it was. I saw, yeah, yeah. I think it was Kanye's account. <laughs> yeah, I think you're right. He likes Legos, too. It, you know, there's a place for everybody. 
Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe not them. <laughs> Maybe not them, but uh, but yeah, like like I said, I was looking through these accounts, and your page, the way it looks, is not very different, but different, and I think it's working in your favor. I think it has to do with the reach. I think it has to do with account activity, um, and and I say that because I see other people's accounts, and they post characters, good pictures, whatever, but sometimes they're group pictures. Sometimes they have a logo, pictures under them. Sometimes they have a background. Not going to lie, I kind of prefer yours because it throws me off when these people have backgrounds. Um, it's kind of harder to go through the account and look at stuff. And then sometimes I'll click on one that has a background. The lighting of whatever backdrop they're using is different than the foreground. Um, the people that Photoshop, like that shit looks awesome. Like you yeah, can tell yeah. they really put a lot of time. Yeah. But some people that may like print a picture or like do a lazy Photoshop and not really mess with the lighting kind of takes me out of it a little bit and i can't really appreciate the character as much do you think that your account it just being character 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 white background helps focus on the character do you think that that alludes to to people going back and maybe like looking at more pictures in your account because it's just so satisfying to scroll through mm -hmm. it like is there is there was there thought put into that uh yeah um part of it was kind of just uh an ocd thing like yeah. i like everything to be like Whenever I'm making something, like, I want it to be satisfying, satisfying, equivalent to each other. Yeah, I want, I want everything, everything to be the same, yeah. Yeah, and I, I, it's also very aesthetically pleasing, so, yeah, I, I do think it helps, like, people to keep on coming yeah. back and just scroll, you know, look for the character you want. I think it helps with, uh... Uh, all love for the people who use backgrounds. Oh it's, yeah, it's, it's just a, it's, not for me. Yeah, it's um, just it's a it's not even bad. Yeah, uh, when people use that stuff too, like like you can tell they have people that prefer that as well. It's mm -hmm. just personally, yeah. I prefer yeah. what you've got going. Same um, for me. Like personally, I just prefer the white background. Um, yeah, all power to those background users. But like, yeah, yeah that's that's what I've noticed. At being and and I'm nitpicky because I'm a photographer, you know, and I'm really looking for that stuff. Right. Um, but um, yeah, yeah, and. Yeah, uh, another purpose for the white backgrounds is I I just wanted the whole point of the page is to have like the mini figures be the forefront of it. So I didn't want anything to be distracting from the yeah. from the actual mini figures. And I also think it brings out, you know, makes the colors pop more on the a mini little figures. bit. A little bit. Yeah, that's so. that's what I think too is it's, it's a big contrast. Yeah, uh, from the background, like you can really like you you're literally just looking at the character. Right. Um, right. In crisp detail. Uh. So. Um. You know, we we were we were talking a lot about painting characters. Um. Usually, I know you select these parts. Right. From just different, like, is there how how does this how does the process work when building a character? Do you look for the parts on certain websites? If so, what are they, and and how does that work? Yeah. Um. So usually, I start out. You know, it starts out with a thought. Hmm. Yeah. Maybe that that would be a pretty cool or fun custom to make. So then I start thinking about it. Then I look at some reference images. Yeah. You know, make it as accurate as possible, and then I usually scour the internet. Um, usually I search on Firestar Toys, uh, yeah. Firestar Toys, and then if they don't have what I'm looking for, then I switch over to Bricklink. Um, once I find all the pieces, then I order them, um, put it together. Yeah. Most of the time it works. Um, sometimes it doesn't, but I usually come prepared for that and I usually find multiple pieces that could work. Okay. So I can test out a yeah. couple. Yeah. Recently, I've gotten into painting um, with the help of Nace Minifigs. Um, he's given me a lot of tips on that. And Boom. Right there. Nate's Minifigs. Go give him a follow. You should. How about he's that? great. Um, and I've also been dabbling in 3D custom molded pieces as well. Okay. Interesting. So there's people out there that mold these pieces? Yeah. Um, Nate's Minifigs is one of them. Um, right here. As well as Venom dot seven 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 seven. Do it with me. It's gonna be right here. Right there. Okay. All right. Um. Yeah, they're great. They they uh print a lot of three D printed yeah. pieces, things that Lego either did bad or just wouldn't make. 
um, usually Star Wars stuff, but um, Nate does a lot of uh, not this Nate the yeah Lego I'm Nate, Nate, but like he's another. Nate, but there's yeah the Lego another Nate. Nate. Um, he makes a lot of like superhero stuff, like yeah. Batman, sick um, stuff like that. Um, so yeah, I've been dabbling in some of that recently, learning how to paint it, um, which has been a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure. It's like opening up like a whole new, I get to look at the character like this and wonder what I'm going to paint on it versus yeah. just choosing the pieces. Have you ever, because cause here's what's interesting to me as well, is you are going in the perfect direction to, to making a business at some point. Um, a lot of these accounts just start as fans. They post their stuff and then they get more professional with it. And I'm sure there's there's sponsorships and, and, and a bunch of different uh, companies within the community that probably reach out to people or for, for certain things that have to do with the purchasing, buying, making, and posting, yeah. which is technically advertising of these characters. Um, have you ever thought about potentially turning this into a business? Oh, most definitely. I mean, I, d- I didn't really start thinking about it until more recently, probably yeah. the past couple of months. But I, I can definitely see the potential yeah. in it becoming a full on business that I can, you know, make make a little bit of money off of. Wow. Um Good shit. And off your passion too, like that's yeah. a, that's yeah. I mean, you you'll never that's work crazy. a day in your life if you yeah. if you enjoy what you do. Yeah. So and it's expensive. I'm sure but you can buy these uh any Firestar Toys hey, right sponsorship. Here. Right here. That's right. Just hit me up. Yeah. <laughs> Um, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? Firestar Toys is like the they're one of the biggest like Lego distribution. They yeah. make custom printed pieces. They do they do mm. just about everything. They wow. sell a lot of pieces. Are they they're aware great. of your account? Uh, yeah, they they follow me. Um, the designer for Firestar Toys follows me as well. Really? Yeah. So the guy who designs these custom pieces follows yeah. you as well. Uh, JLC. That's dot sick. media. Yeah. He, right he, here. He's great. Yeah. The um yeah. Damn. And um so so yeah, I noticed like in your bio too you have like earn what is it 10% off on your order with a code? Yeah, if you uh use my Firestar Toys code on your purchase. Go do it. Um it's going to be right up here. <laughs> yeah, we'll put um, the code. Yeah, perfect. Um Let's get Yeah, if you use my code, uh you're going to get 10% off your purchase and that code can be used as many times as you want. Um, for as many orders as you want. Wow. Um, it it really helps out. It's great. And you've done a giveaway with the code, correct? Already? I I have. Um, so I do giveaways every once in a while. Okay. Once I hit like milestone. Yeah. Uh, followers. What so were like, those? Like uh, one thousand was my one k. One k followers was the first one, and then we just did one for two point five k. Nice. Um, and you're at three now. Yeah, we're at 3K right now. Wow. Um, we're probably going to do another one at 5K, which I have something really special planned really? for that one. Yeah. Oh, my God, what? <laughs> uh, I Okay, I can't go into too much detail about yeah. it. I'll do a more in-depth announcement for yeah. that. But Interesting. Um, well, stay tuned. How about that? Yeah. Um, for, for, for the announcement. We'll, for we'll the keep announcement. going. Yeah. We'll keep going. <laughs> um. But yeah, I have. I'm planning on printing my own customs to sell. Yeah. Um, really? And my, yeah, and my plan is to use one of those as a giveaway prize. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. Wait. What? What is the custom you're making? I can't announce that. Oh but no. <laughs> okay. What, uh, what I can say Understandable. is. Understandable. Is that it's being designed by top Lego creator, TLC. Up here. Give him a follow. And it's going to be printed by Fig Fab Labs. Also follow. Um, which is great. I'm really excited about it. I yeah. think I think people will like the the character that we went with. Um I'll I'll it's a legacy character yeah. from Marvel. Okay. You know, back in the the 2000s Marvel movies. Yeah. It's it's from that era. Okay. Um I I think people will like it. I, th- I think uh it it will be a lot of fun to see people's reactions towards it. Yeah. 
Um, and yeah, that's uh, that's one of the things I'm that's working insane. on at the moment. So, you 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 said that they're printing these characters, or mm-hmm. like, how does that even work? So basically, from what I know of it, cause, yeah. Um, basically, they take monochrome official Lego pieces, yeah, and it's just plain color monochrome. Um, and basically. They take your design, yeah, um, and basically, there's a there's two different ways to yeah. print on Lego. There's mm-hmm. UV printing, yeah. and then there's pad printing. Okay, pad printing is the the printing that the official Lego uses. Okay, it's like smooth, finer details, finer, yeah, finer color. Um, uh, with UV printing, it's uh, kind of more textured in a way, um, slightly raised, I guess, the printing. Um, I, yeah, I guess the best example I could give is like a, if you ever had a hat with like embroidery yeah. on it. I don't know if I pronounced that correct. But Embroid- embroidery. 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 Maybe it's British. I don't yeah. know. Embroidery. Um, but yeah, that's the best way I could define it. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know the machines that the user. Yeah, I got no idea. Works, Maybe because UV is like what sun glasses, sunblock. <laughs> it's got something to do with that. I, I think that's it all. Is that's all I'm array. registering up here. That's all I'm thinking about. Science. Gotta get that sun. I burn. I don't even tan. Neither I do like. I. I. I'm, I'm a lobster. I'm a ghost turned lobster. Turn back to ghost. Yeah. So yeah. like the sun killed the lobster, and now you're a lobster ghost. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> Could you give any advice? Because, like, how did you even... Because you were building so many Lego characters before you even started the account in, in like, August, July of last year. So, like, yeah. how did you put together, oh, I really love doing this, and this is an opportunity for me to make something to potentially turn my passion into a business or or um, just upgrade it from what it was, um, from, from you just going to enjoy it to now... You're being able to create and meet all these people and and, and do all that. Um, do you have any advice for someone who's trying to find that thing that they enjoy so much? Um, so whenever I first started, yeah, um, you know, I was just doing it for fun and yeah. whatnot. Um, because you you did you did music too at a point. I did do yeah. music too, but it, like I, I'll, th- I'll get into that. Yeah. Uh, um, but with Legos, I've, I've always been inspired cause I've, I've, I've seen these Lego accounts that yeah. I'm friends with now. Yeah. Um, I, I, I saw these Lego accounts for forever before I started. Um, and it was actually a couple of my friends who talked me into, um, really making Mac makes like um, an Instagram account. Yeah. And, um, posting about it and whatnot wow so shout out to them yeah that's Um, that's freaking awesome yeah they're great and i work with most of them now they're part of the mac really so oh yeah fantastic Um, wow got to be one of them it's all shout out to them yeah sweet um i'm sure they're very pleased for any tips that i could give just have fun yeah make characters that you want to make don't make characters because you think other people will like them, make them because you like them. Um, because at the end of the day, it's all about you. It's, it's you're the one spending the money on it. You're the yeah. one building them. You're the, you should always be having fun making Legos. If you're dreading making this custom, don't make it. Yeah, you know. And that I guess just goes with anything, huh? For anybody trying to find, even if it's not Legos. Yeah, like just. just do what you enjoy doing or what you exactly. want to envision and what you want to see. Exactly. Wow. And I would also say don't don't focus on how many likes you're getting, how many uh followers you have at the moment cuz I remember like when I first started out, I got 47 likes. On my first post, which is still crazy though. I know. It, I mean, like for one post on an account with like, you it's, know? it's all about the tagging. Yeah. But okay. 
but 47 likes, I mean, I was hyped up about yeah. 47 yeah. likes, but now I'm, you know, getting up there to like, I think, yeah, the highest one was 12K likes. So That's like, insane. And it's only been like since August. So, yeah. I mean, just don't worry about that stuff. In, in the, the beginning, yeah. In the beginning, don't don't focus on that stuff because I mean, it will just put you down. Yeah. But I mean, where are you? Like you said, you've gone from forty-seven to twelve in such a quick time. Where are you trying to take this? Are you trying to be like the best account? Most definitely. I, I mean, I feel like all accounts, like it doesn't matter what you're doing, you're trying to be the best in that. Yeah. In that area, uh, for me, I mean. I mean, yeah, I, I want to be the best. Hopefully yeah. one day I can be. I mean, yeah. there's a lot of great customizers out there mm -hmm. um, that I know are better than me. But, yeah. you know, I just keep on going. I keep on growing. And if we make it, we make it. You know? Yeah, true. Um, eventually, one of my goals this year is to hit 10K likes. Or not 10K likes, 10K hey. Already did that, I huh? <laughs> Gosh. One of my goals for this year is uh to hit 10K followers um, by the end of the year. Um, I keep track of the amount of followers that I gain each yeah. month. So, like, tomorrow's the 1st of February, so I'm yeah. going to write down the amount of followers that I have currently yeah. and then compare that to how many followers I had on the 1st of January. So... Um, but so far it's like exponential growth. So really? Yeah. Oh, that's each great. month, each, each month we're getting more followers than we did the last month. Wow. So, wow. That's, yeah, that's pretty it's, sick. It's great. I, lo I love my supporters. I love my followers. Y'all are great. There's just one guy. What's his name? Is it who comments on like every post? Yes. Wyatt. Wyatt. His name is Wyatt. Yeah. Um, I forget his, uh, Instagram. Yeah. Username, but we'll. We'll tag him like that. that. Would you say that's like your number one fan at the moment? I would say. I mean, he comments on every single post. Really, man, I love that dude. That means every single day. Yeah, every single day he posts. He comments. And two times on Tuesdays. Yep. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> He's great. Yeah, that's I insane. love that dude. That's insane. Yeah. And and dude, your photos, I gotta say, they're so crisp. They are. Yeah. They're, white background it's lit perfectly every time um i mean framed up i'm great at making legos and customizing legos yeah but all praise has to go to my photographer really what yeah. a what a guy huh yeah he's great yeah um, y'all should all go follow him yeah dude let's uh let's give your photographer a follow yeah for sure oh what yo that's 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 you. That's me. I'm the photographer for Max Makes. What? That's crazy. Oh, my God. Yeah, bro. Me and Mac been friends since fucking, like, what? Biology class. Biology freshman class, year. freshman year of high school. Yeah, dude. Yeah. With this account, come on. Those friends that we were talking about earlier that wanted him to start this account, it was me, Michael, and Nico, our friends, over at Max's house on his deck patio yep. on his birthday. It's happening. <laughs> <laughs> it's great, man. It's a lot of fun. But, uh, yeah, he comes over, like, what? I'd say once a week, once every two weeks, and he brings a lot of Legos, and we just set up. He's got a white background. Yeah. I have all my settings. Here's the settings. I got my flash going. Okay, I'm at six. Uh, it's a 400-watt flash. I'm shooting at 16. Uh, I don't even know what that equates to. It says 16 on the thing, so I just say that. An ISO of 250, an aperture of 7.1, an ISO 200, and that's it. White background. We have a poster board. We have a white backdrop. Try to make it good every time. But yeah, no, I thought I'd save that for, for the later half of this uh, yeah. video to go ahead and be like, yo, yeah, what up? Uh, it's me. Yep. I shoot the photos. So um, go show some support, man. I mean, for real, you know, yeah. for the sake of these characters. And I just wanted to touch on that real quick. Yeah. Uh, our process on yeah. on taking photos. Okay. Yeah. I, I come over to his house like mm -hmm. uh every week yeah um i bring like seven to eight figures yeah um and then basically that's how we schedule it we just schedule yeah. for that week um so that we don't get like we don't overcomplicate it we just yeah take it's a very simple process i have yeah. my um 
my tether cable so I just sit at my desk I have everything wired up and just ready so I click shoot looks good I drag it to messages I send it to him he does the rest yep. he, d- he does all the all the tagging and all that stuff I literally just take the photos and I like to keep up with with analytics as well yeah that's why I, that's why I seem to know a little bit throughout this thing so <laughs> yeah surprise at the end you know <laughs> stay tuned for that uh custom printed yeah y'all are gonna like it announcement because i already know what it is i didn't even i didn't actually know if he was gonna say it or not (laughs) but then i'm like okay you know maybe it is good to keep it a secret but yeah y'all should stay tuned and like consider getting one because these are custom you know no no one's gonna be making these and then once they're out they're out man yeah limited limited edition Mm -hmm. i I think i'm gonna be selling 25 yeah so if you want one you better get one because they're limited um (coughs) yeah that's right. But uh yeah, I mean where should we leave this off? Go go give Max Mix a follow, man. If you want to see it, a random Lego Marvel character or any character at all pop up, leave your suggestions in the comments below. It's great to be a part of it. Shout out to Nico and Michael as well. Yeah. They're part of the team. Hey, Nico and Michael. All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yep, that's right. Hey, Michael's in a fraternity. Everybody in the in, in the fraternity, go check go check out your friend Michael who's part of this Lego account. Yep. I feel like they low-key support, though, because it's like a business. But I feel like frat guys are also like, fuck Legos. Yeah. (laughs) I don't know. Maybe. Maybe they're not. I mean, I don't know how most frats are these days, but. I don't know. Sick. Sick as shit, dude. If anyone, like, literally everyone I tell about the account, they're like, oh, wow. Like, that's really, it's really cool. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I I just told my classmates today. Really? Yeah. And. How did you even do that? I just went up to them and I was like. Really? Do you guys like Lego? Do you have an Instagram? What if I told you one of your fellow classmates <laughs> runs a Lego custom account? That's great. That's and they hilarious. followed. They were, really? they were really supportive. So yeah. Sweet. All right. Well, I can't wait to see where this goes, man. Um, yeah, me too. Let me dab you up. Ooh. Hyperhidrosis, everyone. Yeah, he's got I, it's, it. It's a skin condition that makes you super sweaty. It's, I'm in sorry. your hands I'm and feet. Wiping my hand. I'm not. I have I'm, it. Yeah. I'm I'm for hyperhidrosis. I'm not. Well, that doesn't <laughs> doesn't sound right. No, I'm 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 not against anyone with it. I hope you get it figured out. Not that you have to like get it figured out, but like I'm not gonna win w- with this. Am no, I? no, no. All right. Well. uh... <laughs> <laughs> On that note, yeah. I'm out of here. All right. Oh well, thank you guys for joining. Yeah, uh, like I said, go check out that Sam podcast. I have have a few others coming in the works as well, man. You guys are going to like some people I'm going to have on soon. Really cool people from Houston. Oh, yeah. Um, as we are as well. I like having everybody on, man. So, yeah, consider subscribing. If you want to give us any make a character, this or that, go go DM Max Makes. Give us a follow. Oh, yeah. Um. But yeah, man, appreciate you coming on. Yes, again. sir. Do that again. All right. All right. See y'all later.